Hi everybody, this is Jeff Searle at my home in Southwest Ranches, Florida. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, today we're going to talk a couple different things. Um, and the first thing is I'd like to apologize. I haven't done a video in about a year. I was in transition selling the original nursery five minutes from here. And um, after 40 years we retired and now I'm working out of my backyard here. I'm still growing some of the rarest palms found on earth and um, I'm excited that I got a very, very rare palm here to plant today that I grew from seed. Anyways, um, I'm gonna sh go over a little bit on how to plant it and first, uh, foremost, I'm gonna talk about the palm a little bit. So this palm is in the genus Mangekia and it's Mangekia matter bergzii it's a little bit of a tongue twister matter bergzii and the genus is mangekia named after a gentleman over on the island of Bayak, which is off the northwest coast of new guinea so a long ways away very tropical area uh, this is a slender trunk palm we don't know a whole lot about it there's very few in private collections as of now this is my only one, and I honestly don't know of anybody else in Hawaii or South Florida here or anywhere that has one. I think there's a couple big ones in Nang Nuch uh, Botanical Garden in Thailand. So, this is a, 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 a slender trunk palm that's going to tolerate apparently some sun. Probably will be a little happier with some shade. It's As it gets taller, it's going to get some really pretty leaves that reach out and recurve downwards in a droopy fashion. These leaflets are going to get a little bigger. They're going to have a very jagged edge called a prey morse or, or in more layman terms a uh, fishtail looking leaflet. But the really pretty part about this palm is it's going to have these leaves are going to get probably three times longer than this. So probably in the six, seven foot range, eight foot length and they're gonna just have a nice droopy leaf uh, an arrangement. So, I'm excited to plant this thing. Um, I grew this from a seed probably about three years ago. So it's been relatively quick. We don't know the cold hardiness yet. I'm not near the beach, so I don't have to worry about salt tolerance. But I feel with my uh, good rich topsoil here, as you can see, I've already got the hole dug. Um, this palm, I have a feeling, will do very well here. Um, so we'll get right into it. And um, basically, pull this palm out of the pot. And as you can see, it's got a, a really beautiful root system. You can see a, a real nice big root right there and lots of good white roots. So this is a good sign that this is very healthy and obviously ready to go in the ground. So I've got the hole already dug at the right height that I want it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kick in some dirt all the way around and kinda help it in with the shovel, like so. And then I'm a firm believer on using a slow release for all my new palms. And this is NutriCoat. And you can find this in some of the um, box stores at a retail level. And it's a slow release. This is about an eight, nine month feed. So what I'll do is just sprinkle about uh, eight to 10 tablespoons around it. And this will get it off to a really good start because it's fairly expensive for this fertilizer. I only use it one time when I'm planting something new in the ground. Other than that, I go to a, another palm special, what I call palm special fertilizer. It's a granular, and I would then top coat it with that. So I'm going to put some more dirt around this. Pretty simple. Kind of tap it down with my foot. And then what I like to do is I like to use some of this excess dirt, and this is very important. We like to build a nice, what we call a donut, around the outside of the palm where the, where the ball was, right about here. And make so like this. 
And anyways, then after I'm done with the video, I'll get the hose and I'll water this. And the purpose of making this moat or donut is all the water that I put into this hole is going to go straight down instead of out and be spread out and not necessarily go down. So it's real important that I like is to make this donut and all the water will be caught inside here and only can go straight down. And that way you're assured that you're going to get a good watering. And because we're in the month of April, it's starting to get warmed a little bit now. So uh, it's important that these palms stay pretty wet. And I will probably water this about three times a week for the next uh, couple weeks, three weeks maybe, and then I'll cut it down one less watering a week and things like that. I do have irrigation here. But anyways, I'm real excited about this very rare palm, Mangekia, and uh, we're gonna watch it grow. And hopefully in a year or two, we might do another video and see on the progress of this growing. So that wraps it up today. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope and promise that we will be making some new videos. And um, again, this is Mangekia. Look it up. It's a very interesting palm. Thank you.